I'm Brad Gage, and this is Drunk Driving, where I pick up drunk comedians from bars and make them tell me drinking stories. Today, I have my friend, Brian O'Flanagan. He's gonna, right there, and he's a little drunk, and we're gonna go for a ride right now. My seatbelt's covering up my Drake shirt. Oh, okay, yes, get the Drake shirt. Did you start at the bottom? Where did you start? I started pretty close to the bottom. Yeah. You moved here, you didn't know anybody? I didn't know anybody. When I first moved here, I lived in a Craigslist situation, which turned out to be an 81-year-old man, and we shared a bedroom. <laughs> he slept on a pile of blankets, like three or four blankets. It was an actual, it was a cat. He was just a cat. He was a bunch of <laughs> cats and a human in a body. Circle. How many drinks did you have tonight? I had eight drinks. You had eight drinks? <laughs> Don't. I had three drinks. No, I kind of was feeling like I might. I was gonna throw up. <laughs> Why? I always get a little. I always feel like I'm gonna throw up. Like like always. Don't you like always kind of feel like you're gonna throw up? No. <laughs> What's like the most you vomited from drinking? I think in, one time in college, it's like my friend's uh, like parents' house, and I drank too much, and I thought to myself, I might throw up. And when when do you know you're gonna throw up? 100% physically, you have like five Four, to ten seconds. Yeah. So I made a beeline for the front door instead of the bathroom. I ran, I was gonna go to the front door and go up, throw up in the bushes, and no one will be any wiser. Perfect. And there were, I'm not kidding, and people have will back me up that I was not crazy about this. There was like, like six locks on the door. <laughs> it was like a, and they were all different. It was like a bunch of different locks. There was like a slidey one. And a twisty. And they were all engaged. It was like a, they were all, they were all engaged. It was like a bop it. <laughs> and I was like two locks in, and I just threw up all over the door and like my hands. Just straight ahead, threw up on the door. Whoa! Yeah, like projectile vomit on the door. And I turn around, the whole party's like, dude, what the f? And I was like, there, uh, there's so many locks. I'm sorry. And someone was came over, was like, ah, oh, dude, come on. Like, finish the locks. And then they <laughs> opened the door for me, and I ran away. Which I've done like a couple times. Uh huh. I have like a habit of like, if I'm like really messed up, I'll think it's reasonable to literally physically run away. But I got, I went to a wedding a couple, it was like a, probably like a little over a year ago. This is the only time I've ever blacked out in my whole life. Oh, only once? You've done it a bunch? <sighs> yeah. But at this wedding, it was this open bar, and my cousins who I thought were little kids were like my age. And I was like, you guys are my age. Let's, <laughs> let's get drunk and let's dance. They're like, yeah, I thought you were like five. And I was fucking, and we were going crazy. And they're like, could not stop, like, well, you could not pay me to stop doing it. <laughs> so we're staying in a condo. Yeah. My whole family, like my parents, my sister, aunt and uncle. I kind of remember getting out of the car and thinking, I cannot let my parents see me this drunk. So I get out of the car, and the whole family, it's a big SUV, and the whole family gets out, and they all start walking into the condo, and I just beelined into the woods. <laughs> I just ran into the woods. So I was like, just get away. Super like, as I said, I just need to run away. <laughs> and they never noticed that I ran into the woods. They just didn't turn around. And then they like forget, they like didn't know if I was with them or not. They were like, was, I thought Ryan was with us. <laughs> they're like, I could have sworn he was. And I just passed out. I fainted into a shrub. The big joke with the family is that I fell into a bush. Woke up like an hour later to my mom on the fancy balcony of this condo. Be like, Ryan! <laughs> Brian. And I was like, what? She was like, where are you? I was like, I'm in the, I'm in the woods, I'm coming. I'm just in the woods. And so then she like opens the door and I come in. She's like, what the, where were you? I have just twigs all over me. And there was no way to hide it. I just said, I had passed out in a bush. I got too drunk and I passed out in a bush. Ryan O'Flanagan. Hey, man. My buddy Brad. We're just, yep. My friends. Thank you for watching. Thanks for driving me home. What a ride it's been. What a ride it has been. <laughs> No, I loved it, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Was that it? That's yeah. That's no, the show. No, really man. getting out. You're yeah. That we, there's no. There's nothing more there's to no it. There's no Hollywood smoking mirrors. <laughs> All right, dude. Later.